Good morning, everybody. This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we are taking my all time favorite bolt action rifle, maybe even my favorite rifle, to the range. This is the Ruger American Ranch series, which is chambered in 762 by 39. It is a stellar rifle. I absolutely love it. But we're going to be shooting it with a brand of ammo that I have not yet fired on the channel. So, what we have is some Igman ammunition, 762 by 39, uh, $13 a box for 15 rounds. It's a little bit pricey over at my local Shields. I did a video about this ammo before. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. If you want more of the details, the feet per second, the energy, and so on, uh, you can get it cheaper online if you look around. But I'm looking for a substitute for the inexpensive seal case ammo that I used to buy. Now, I am a reloader, so kind of an element for me is does this have a uh, brass that I am able to reload when I'm done with it? Is it boxer primed or burdan primed? We'll know once we take a few shots with it and look at some empty cases exactly what it is. The big question is how well is it going to perform? What kind of accuracy can you expect from this round? We'll be shooting it from my lead sled. We're just gonna do three groups of five, 15 rounds, and it will start with a cold barrel, end up with a fairly warm barrel. Just look at the average of each of those groups, just kind of overall and per target, see if we notice any patterns with it. Is it consistent, is it not? And then after that, when the barrel's still warm, I'm gonna do five shots of Tula, which we use quite a bit on this channel through this rifle, and it's typically an inch or an inch and a quarter. It's a good ammunition that generally performs well. So that's going to be kind of the standard at the end after we've shot this to see how well it performs. We'll be shooting at 100 yards. I'm just going to be using some Dirty Bird reactive targets. Now, normally I do three shot groups, but I thought, you know, let's just do three groups of five, run it through, see if we notice any patterns, and we'll report back to you. Now, if this is good stuff, I might start stocking up on it because, like I said, I might be able to reload the uh, brass if it is boxer primed, which they claim it is online. I don't know. Igman ammunition has been around since the 1950s. And you know what? Enough talking. Let's just go to the range.
right, so when we take the average of the three groups that we're looking at for the Igman ammunition, which was 2.954 inches for the first group and 1.578 for the second group and 2.809 for the third group, we're looking at an overall group average of 2.447 inches or basically two and a half inches. That's probably what you can expect if you're shooting the same rifle, same optics. I think that's pretty acceptable considering that the ZBS ammo we tested last time was all over the place. Now, the Tula with just a single five shot group at the end with the barrel nice and warm, was 1.849, which is not bad. So here's the thing. You can get this online for about $7.80 for a box of 15. You're gonna pay a little bit more of a premium than you would if you had the steel case ammo, but if you can't get steel case Tula or Wolf, or they're charging 10 or $12 a box, then at this point, you might as well just go ahead and get this. I know you're only getting 15 rounds per box, but I think in my opinion, it's definitely gonna be the better ammo. Um, it is boxer primed. So if you are a reloader, it means that you can definitely reload this. If you have a brass catcher, say on your AK or your rifle, and you don't reload, save the brass because it does definitely have value. It's got resale value to it. I would buy it from if you had it. Now, the last thing that I do want to say, um, and this is something I don't complain or I don't, uh, I don't make excuses for my shooting. There's days when I shoot good and there's days where I shoot not so good. Today was pretty noisy on the firing line. I had a guy with a 300 wind mag off to my right who was siding in his rifle. I had a guy off to my left that was running a 50 cal muzzle loader. So I was just getting blasted the whole time and there were a couple times that I flinched. I was getting right before I pulled the trigger, the gun next to me went off. And I know being a good shooter is about being able to focus in a situation like that. I probably could have shot this a little bit better, but I'm just gonna take it for what it is. You know, these are the conditions you shoot under and you never know what you're gonna be facing when you're out on the range. So again, two and a half inch group, I'm totally cool with that, I can live with it. The, the, the ammunition functioned flawlessly, it was great. So that's my take with the Ruger Ranch Rifle at 100 yards with the Igman 762 by 39, 123 grain ball ammo. I think this is great for sighting in your rifle or you know, just you just wanna do some plinking around or just wanna do some general shooting but not use your good hunting ammo. This is definitely something to consider. Again, it's only 15 round boxes but we'll take it for what it is. All right, and uh, we will have a lot more 762 by 39 ammo tests coming your way. Um, I've got some Hornady American Gunner that I've yet to test that I bought, I think last spring or last winter and haven't had a chance to shoot that yet. So that'll be the next ammo that we take out. We'll try that and see how well it runs. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out my podcast called Caliber Corner, which we do Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. Central Time. We talk guns and ammo. In fact, we just did a hunting rifle chat last weekend. If you're watching this video on Wednesday, uh, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, in the meantime, like and subscribe. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.